Shiratori Rezoko de Gosaimas. I am Rezoko. Rezoko. Oh my goodness. Rezoko is refrigerator in Japanese. One more time. I am Reiko Shiratori. Japanese says the last name first, and then name. First name. You know, you get the hang of it. So, I watch this anime and live action. And here's the thing I always like to bring you everything the manga, anime, live action, and compare it. But sadly, we could not find the original live action from 1995 legally. So, I always like to do things legally. And the same with the manga. The manga, we did find it, but it was quite expensive. So, and I. And you know what? Now that I'm talking to you, I don't remember if the manga was actually in Japanese or in English version. But anyway, you know, my Japanese is not that good, so I was not going to spend money on seven volumes. You get the hang of it. And then we were able to see the OVA, which is a 44 minute wait time. Not wait time, 44 minutes long. Which I believe four minutes was just the intro song, but we're not going to talk about that. And then we saw. The live action of 2016 and the movie. So far, with what I just watched, I just love it. It was great. It was funny. You know what? Here's the thing about the live action. When I started watching it, I felt like I was watching an anime in a live action. Does it make sense? Well, I know, I know. It's, that's the whole idea. But it really, really felt like that. Also, the first... I believe the first five episodes is so like, wow, low budget. I was like, really? This is going to be like that? And then, I don't know, something happened in between that it came very good budget, I guess. And very, very nice. And the love story also was very interesting. Not like in the anime. In the anime is from beginning until the end, the way that they are trying to figure things out towards their relationship. The Life action is like, oh, we're gonna take our time, and remember that thing about the budget thing after the six or five episode? They really, really meant it. Now, the story is about this rich girl who is in love with this guy, and she actually moved to Tokyo just to be with him, or try to be with him. But remember, she's rich, she's spoiled by her father, so she's like this, oh, I'm better than anybody else, and this kind of attitude in a good way. She's She's naive, you know, and then at the same time that the guy is trying to get close to her, she actually push him away like, you know, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like that. And again, she's very, very innocent, very naive in towards what's going on around her. And but it's a good she's a good person. Now, the good thing about this live action is that they're, I believe, yeah, like Episode 6 or 5, they actually end up being together. And from there, we actually see how their relationship works out. In the manga, I mean, the OVA is not like that. We actually see how they try to end up together. And bam, that's it. 44 minutes. And love story that goes very, very fast. In the live action, they really take their time and bring up these characters and made up these other side stories, which... It was very entertaining and I really, really like it. It was very funny, especially her laugh. She started laughing like, oh, most of the time. And yeah. I also love the film, the movie, actually. They tried to implement some stuff and it was a little more, I will say, a little more serious, a serious note or tone that the uh, original television show. No, no, wait, not the original. I didn't saw that one. I, meant the original from 2016 and then the movie right you understand yes okay but anyway you tell me which girl would you have dated because there were quite a few here and do you like it did you have a good time did you laugh i mean it was good i really like it i wouldn't mind waiting like what 20 more years and then until they do another remake yeah i'm guessing oh yeah i'm saying this we're gonna pretend not pretend we're going to for be a fortune teller. We'll see what happens. Okay. I'll see you next time. Bye.